Yo guys, what is going on today? It is Mark here. And whole guys, holy shit. You know how long it has been since I have sat down and even watched my own gameplay to record a commentary to like I would honestly have to go back to look because this feels it feels kind of refreshing, honestly, but at the same time, it feels just like the good old days. And guys, Call of Duty is back in a major way. So real quick, before we go ahead and get into things, welcome to our Road to MGB or Road to Nuke, episode number four. And this gameplay is actually kind of special, because uh, I was just playing some Rush 24-7, going for camos. You guys know how it goes. I'm sitting here running around with a shotgun, and I end up going on a 21 gun streak without me even realizing it. I had to go to my career stats after the match was over and figure that out for myself. But in this gameplay, I go around and I run out of ammo. I end up start picking people's, picking people's weapons off the ground. I can't even talk today. Like I am so rusty to this. Like, but it feels it feels great. So we start picking up people's weapons off the ground. And we end up going on a 21 gun streak. Like, that is outrageous. And it's outrageous to me because half the time, half the lobbies I get into, I'm getting absolutely shit on. But to even make it more special, there was a couple games before this. I had to pick which gameplay I wanted to use because I didn't want to do a 20 minute gameplay upload of me on rust so i had to pick between either this one or I, I think i went on like an 18 or 19 kill streak on rust and hardcore with a pistol uh again going for cameras i was using the renetti i think i went on like an 18 or 19 gun streak and i think i dropped 70 kills with a pistol that game and granted that does not happen every single match because of the skill-based matchmaking issue. Like, I understand it's Rust 24-7. And I am I'm ass at this game. I am. Uh, this game is dying. I wouldn't I wouldn't even say dying to skill-based to skill matchmaking. But it is putting a hinder on. Like, this is the most fun I've had in a COD in a long time. And I can see myself playing this Call of Duty for the duration of the year. And I know it's, I know it's fresh... And it's new. But I haven't grinded a camo. Done a camo grind. Like this. Since BO3. And. I just. I don't know. I put a lot of time into this game already. Compared to. What I have in the previous years. MW19 and MW2. I didn't put this much time. Right off the bat. And this one. This one feels good. Now, granted, nostalgia might be might be a part of that with the old maps and stuff. Like, that does feel great. But everything else feels great, too. The movement and the gunplay feels great. But, guys, skill-based matchmaking. Like, that's why I am so, like, pumped for this gameplay. Because I know that it's just dumb luck that I got into here. And, like, going even every game is kind of rough. I saw a tweet, and I can't remember who put it out. But they were talking about uh, the world's knife-only nuke. And they weren't, like, no one is impressed by it because of people using VPN or reverse boosting. Like, when people get gameplays and nukes and just have these ridiculously good stat lines or fast fucking nukes, people aren't impressed by them because they may get shot at, like, once or twice. Like, that hurts the gameplay quality and, like... I can remember back in the day where, well, one, commentaries, like, where are those out on YouTube anymore? It's a lot of live gameplays and reactions now, and people, and maybe I'm looking in the wrong place because I'm old now, but all these gameplay qualities are dying, and I want to see it brought back, like, I want, I'm out here struggling, just having fun, you know, just doing what I can do. That's why we're here at the I think this series is going to be a lot of fun to get into, and I haven't done a commentary for it. So I'm glad that is out of the way now. And I might be getting back into doing some comms. I don't know. We will have to wait and see for that. And I know I don't have a lot of time to deep dive into thoughts and opinions and questions, answers, all that sort of stuff. But 
just getting back here, sitting down, watching myself, spitballing off the top of my head. It feels good for a change. Guys, I'm going to end it with that. I will see you guys in the next one. Make sure to like and subscribe if you guys are new. And I will see you guys the next time. Peace out.